<coughs> Hi guys, exciting news. We are sick. At last I get to show you what to do when you're sick in Finland. So, when you're really, really sick, you get to call to a doctor. And I'm going to show you now uh, how it's done. Now it's 8.30 in the morning. Class, uh, the doctor's Terluskeskus, the healthcare center, opens uh, the line at 8. And it's open until 16. So if you're calling before 8, you have to call to the emergency, uh, which is in, in our case 40 kilometers far. So uh, it's quite wise to wait or because well, they will advise you to wait anyway if it's not real emergency. We have flu, me and kids, and it's pretty bad flu. So now I really have to call the doctor because kids are coughing like hell, they cannot sleep. So I'll check the number. Okay, got the number. We don't live in Helsinki anymore. So I'll have to call to Tulsula. We have it quite close, so let's see. Waiting time for a, a, for a phone call. You have to be really lucky. Sometimes I'm lucky and I wait only five minutes. Sometimes I'm lucky and I, I'm unlucky and I wait 45 minutes. So let's see. Tai vitsi, että kun me jos muu henkilötunnus ja tyttön henkilötunnus, tai riittää vain poikkea. Joo, odota, joo, odota, joo, kohta, kun mä täällä nyt vaan etsin näitä aikoja, että mihinkä mä saan. Okei, 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 selvä, kiitos. Joo, kun nyt ajat menee tonne, tonne iltapäivän puolelle sitten. Iltapäivän, okei, okei. Okay, okay. Mi mitä kello me voi olla? No periaatteessa, jos, tu jos tuutte 12 aikoa, niin tämä on toki nyt sitten noin aika, kun tämä on tuonne tuota niin, niin... 12. Okei. Okay. Kello 12. Ja sitten niin mä otan sen toisen lapsen tiedot. Joo, okei. Okay. Ja tyttö on, oli syntynyt 16. kesäkuussa. Äh, 16. Se oli yksi, kuusi, nolla, kuusi, yksi, kuusi. Joo. Ja kerro, onko viikon ajan myös hänen oireensa on kestäneet vai? Uh, mikä on oireen uh, englanniksi tai mikä, mikä se tarkoittaa? Niin, että kauanko hän on ollut sairaana? Uh, kahdeksan päivää. Hän on haluan sanoa, tai seitsemän päivää. Joo, hänellä, hänellä oli kaksi tai kolme päivää kuin vain kuumetta ja vähän yskä. Ja nyt ei ole kuumea, mutta on hirveä yskä ja nuha. Joo, Joo kuinka Voi... korkeaksi kuume nousi? Ihan sama kuin pojan. Uh, uh, 39. Joo, 39, 38,5. Se oli pari päivää vain kuume. Mm -hmm. Joo, ja yskä on myös hänellä, niinkö? On, joo, joo, on. Joo. Joo, onko mitään niinku hengen ahdistusta, että olisi hengitys vaikeaa? Ää, ei joo, en, en usko, mutta se on vaikea nukkua heillä. Ah, my phone stopped. Okei, okay. my phone call has been disconnected. Unfortunately my battery is stopped. So I have to start again. Hopefully we will talk to the same lady. She was super nice. Let's see how long it takes this time. Maybe this time we won't be so lucky. Okay. Sekä jonossa palvelemme teitä mahdollisimman pian. Okay. Vastaanottojan voi peruttaa sähköä. He just said that uh, nobody's available and then they will. Terveyskeskus 
they will serve us as soon as possible. Oh, that's kind of sucks because she really agreed that I can come at 12. Okay. Just said that we are the first. Uxie. We are the first. So hopefully we will talk to the same lady. They have also, he's now saying uh, that if you want them to call you back, you just press number one. Uh, I don't remember exactly how it goes, but then he says if you want us to call you back, you just press one. And that's a very good way how to get rid of people's callers from the line. Because some people are just not that keen on waiting and sometimes they usually call the same day. It depends what time you call. And sometimes it's in an hour, sometimes it's in a couple of hours. But it's possible to use them. Oh, somebody is calling me to my phone. I think it's from the Tervos Keskus. I have to pick it up, so guys. Okay, this was super sweet. She called me back. Our phone call got disconnected, and because uh, she already knew my uh, information, I gave her my social security number and my kids. She called me back. I was waiting on the line, and I was fortunately I was on a different phone because I wanted to record this on my Finnish phone. So I was on my Czech phone, and she managed to call me back. And uh, she even postponed our time for 10.30. I have to say that if you're calling that your kids are very sick, that's what I said, they are very sick. They are rather fast in giving you time for, uh, for a doctor. Uh, and uh, usually with kids, I, I get the time right away. So we have one and a half hour to get there. I can tell you some more information on what to do when you're sick. Um, as you saw, you have to call to your doctor first and tell them what is with you. This nurse uh, was super sweet, but uh, I asked her on the beginning of the phone call, which you didn't hear, if she speaks English. And she did not answer. I think she... I asked her in Finnish, that was maybe the mistake. But uh, my Finnish is not so perfect, so I, I sometimes need to mixed with English, so I always ask if the person speaks English if I need to and then I warn them that I uh, might be uh, mixing with English but this lady probably didn't speak so well English so you have to get ready for this if you, especially if you don't call uh, within Helsinki district which we didn't, we live in Tusula so we were calling in Tusula district so if you're really sick and you don't speak any Finnish and then you call, which happened to me, and you call and you ask if the person on the phone speaks English, they don't sometimes. Sometimes they have their colleague, which they can pass you to, but sometimes they just that they don't. So it's good to have somebody with you who can speak English. Or be ready that you will just call them and then you will have to hang up. You cannot just go to the, the, to the emergency without calling beforehand. Uh, that's not how it works here. Or you can, but they don't like it and you wait a lot. Without time, uh, you can wait a couple hours. If it's not like you sewed off your hand or you have heart attack, in these cases you usually call 112, which is uh, ambulance. And what else? Yeah, uh, if you live in Finland, you already know that you already have one of these. Just give a card. There is written your social security number. They always want to know that on the phone call. And within the database, they, they will search you out and they will find all your information. So you will need that. Your social security number. So have it prepared when you're calling. Um, uh, they started to, uh, a couple years ago, they started to have this possibility of loading your there is this barcode on the other side, 
so they they now are actually loading the receipt you receive onto your Kela card so from the doctor you usually get like a paper you can have in at the pharmacy but you don't need it because you can just go to a pharmacy and you show them your Kela card and then they load the code barcode and and you can pick up the receipt or the, the medicine from the card I think it's just now in the middle uh, of the implementation of this system, so that's why you still have print out receipt. Uh, healthcare system here is partly uh, supported by government, but partly you have to pay it yourself. So get ready that in some cases you will receive a receipt, and I will show you how it looks like. Dental healthcare is usually pricey, super pricey. For example, this is my receipt from uh, from my, when my tooth chipped off. It wasn't acute, so uh, I got extra fee for that. It's like semi-acute problem, and I am about to pay 59 euro for one appointment. It is usually about 50 to 60 euro per one appointment. When I had my root canal uh, removed, I was there four times and I paid about 200, 240 euro. And here is a receipt uh, from the uh, emergency with Lucia when she had uh, measles. I think it's enterovirus, enterovirus. And we are about to pay 11 euro 40 cents. So in some cases you pay, in some cases you don't. Uh, but you will receive the receipt by mail, usually one week after the appointment or the visit of the doctor. And uh, uh, you can pay it in one week. There's usually one month period until you have to pay it. Uh, uh, there is this possibility you have to check out because nobody will tell you about it but if you ask about it <coughs> <coughs> there is some uh, maximum limit you pay during a year for health care it doesn't include dental care and some specific surgeries or specific uh, uh, procedures but I think it's about five or six hundred per month Per year and if you pay this amount after that uh, you have to inform them that you uh, want this kind of service uh, I think I think you should ask about that your doctor they will tell you which number to call because I don't I don't remember anymore the number or the name of the organization which is doing that but anyway you will receive some special paper cord card you will show to the doctor once you reach the limit and then after that some procedures are free for you and some are half price and yeah that's it you have to be on time they don't like when you're coming late so be, be prepared to to get from home beforehand and uh, if you uh, call an ambulance to your home for example when my kids had a uh, when you had febrile seizure, we were calling ambulance, and afterwards uh, they were bringing us to the to the hospital. Uh, we had to pay twenty euro for the ambulance. Uh, so sometimes they just ask you if you are able to uh, drive. They will not take you to the hospital. They will just make the procedure on the spot. Of course, if you if you are like dying or if you have heart attack, of course they not make you drive, but. If it's your kid, for example, having something and it's stabilized and nothing is, nothing is uh, threatening its life, they will not be automatically taking you by the ambulance, but they will offer you that you can drive that alone. Actually, I don't know how common that is, but it happened to us twice. So, I don't know, maybe quite common. Anyway, I hope you will not get sick. Because sometimes it's a nightmare to get the appointment at the doctor, especially if it's not with kids. Sometimes you can just call, you just call them and they tell your symptoms and then they tell you to wait. Or to go to the pharmacy and buy some medicine and just wait. They're not automatically letting you see a doctor. 
which is wise, I guess. It's good for the doctors. Um, sometimes not so good for the patients. Anyway, early in the morning, I'm going to make a breakfast and then I'm gonna get gas ready to the doctor. Uh, I hope you're fine, all healthy, and uh, comment and uh, let me know how you are. So, you'll be happy to know that we were at the doctor and the doctor was maybe more sick than I was. He was coughing, he was runny nose. He told me there is actually nothing wrong with us, we have just a common flu about that and we have to put up with that. He didn't give us any medicine, he just told us, do what you do and wait it out. <laughs> it was like, okay, I'm gonna pay 12 euro for that, thank you dog. And he wouldn't even examine me, even though I was saying that all three of us are sick, but he wouldn't bother with me, he was like, well ma'am, I'm sick too, look at me, why would I pay attention to you? He wouldn't say that, but I had the vibe. He was nice, but still, I was baby wonder, oh, what kind of doctor. Kind of refreshing and weird at the same time, so, <laughs> that's it. We have just a common food. Wait it out.